Spurgeon here with Revzilla for the Helite Airbag Jacket Overview, available at Revzilla.com. So the purpose of this video is to break down the four main jackets within Helite's line of airbag jackets. Now, you might remember, we have already done a video breaking down how the Helite airbag system works. That's gonna be part of the Helite airbag vest video. So if you wanna understand how the airbag system itself works, make sure you check out that particular video because all we're discussing here is how Helite has implemented that airbag vest and built it into four individual jackets. Now the jackets that we're gonna be talking about within this video are gonna be the Adventure Airbag Jacket with High Vis Brian wearing it on my left hand side. There is gonna be the Free Air Mesh Jacket and then there's gonna be two leather options, a leather men's and a leather women's option, all of which we're going to break down very quickly today and we're gonna inflate each one so you can see what it looks like once it's inflated. Now remember, the Helite Airbag System does wonders, it immobilizes your neck so it actually inflates up around the neck, around the back of the collar, and it acts as a neck brace, and then it's gonna give you full airbag protection around the main core of your body for an impact resistance. Now this is gonna be an analog system. You're gonna have a tether that's gonna to mount to the motorcycle, and in the event of a crash, a tether pulls loose, and the airbag system inflates. The vest itself comes in around the $630 price point. That is gonna be a much more affordable price point than when you're getting up into some of the digital systems, which can run you $1,700, $1,800, and more when they're looking at the price of what we're seeing from the digital side of things. So while this is a much simpler system, it's also much more affordable for those of you that just wanna add an extra layer of protection to your jackets. Now, what Helite has done is they've introduced a line of jackets which actually have that airbag system sewn into it, and we're gonna break them all down now for you, starting with the airbag jacket in the adventure form. So this is the airbag adventure, and really what you're gonna see here is adventure styling, three season cold weather. You are gonna have a waterproof Z liner with this. There is a 60 gram thermal liner that is removable, but this is something that even with the vents, because they direct or they don't directly vent, they vent to the liner, you really don't wanna wear it in the heat of the summer. So think spring, think fall, and think winter. Now from a sizing standpoint, High Vis Brian on the left hand side stands at six foot, weighs in at 195 pounds, and has a 42 inch chest. We have them in a large. Completely ignore whatever Helite size chart says. The size chart they presented to us was way off. It actually had High Vis Brian in a 5XL. That does not work. High Vis Brian is pretty much a large across the board. So as long as you stick with what alphanumeric size you are across the board, you should be okay there with no surprises. Now the main construction for this it's gonna be a Cordura shell. So you're getting full abrasion resistance on the outside. You're having Knox armor. The Knox armor on the shoulders and the elbows is a CE level one armor. So even before that airbag inflates, you are getting impact protection. Brian, go ahead and face backwards for me. Now, there is a CE level two back protector included with this as well. So CE level one armor in the shoulders and the elbows, CE level two in the back, and then when that airbag system inflates, it's going to give you that full encompassing range of the airbag protection. You are gonna have this stretch material along the top, which helps to allow for the jacket to actually expand, and it's going to give you, you know, that protection that you're looking for while immobilizing your head. You notice you have the exhaust vents in the back, so you have those intake vents in the front, exhaust vents in the back, and then you are gonna have just a small rabbit pouch on the bottom, so if you pull that thermal liner off, you have a place to store it. Brian, face forward. So, like I said, we're gonna inflate each of these jackets as we work our way through before moving on to the next one. Looking at the front of this jacket, on the left-hand side, you're gonna have a zippered pocket. That's simply a pocket. On the right-hand side, this is where your airbag canister, your CO2 cartridge is actually gonna be stored. And you'll notice there's that massive CO2 cartridge inside the jacket, and it's gonna be very hidden away. One of the things that I like about this is Helite has done a very good job with the Adventure airbag jacket of making it look very minimal. So if you were to snap this off, you could actually tuck that back inside. You wouldn't even notice that this is there. But if you wanna use the airbag system, you're simply gonna put this on, attach this to the point in your bike. And like I said, if you want all the details on how the airbag system itself works, make sure you check out our video on the airbag vest from Helite where we really break down the nitty gritty. Now we're gonna inflate this and you're gonna see you have to give a really aggressive tug. This isn't gonna be something that's gonna just gently pull loose. So you don't have to worry about that. But Brian's riding along, hits a car and bam. You're gonna see that this pops up and inflates. You notice where it goes around the shoulders. This is gonna work to immobilize the head like we talked about and it's gonna run down the full chest. Go ahead and face backwards, my friend. 
Look at this down the back. It's got that turtle shell style all the way up around the back of the neck. So it's not going to allow for the helmet to push backwards, immobilizing the head. And that back protector is going to do its job as well, giving Brian a nice secure fit. Brian, you may turn around. While he waits for this to deflate where he can escape from the jacket, we're going to move along right now. We're going to talk about the free air jacket. So we're now moving on to the free air mesh jacket. And where the adventure jacket was really your three season cold weather option, the free air mesh is your two to three season hot weather option. Now there is going to be a removable two in one waterproof thermal liner that you can take out if you really are riding in the hot, warmer months of the year. And then if you are starting to ride in the cooler months of the spring and the fall, you do have that option of putting it back inside. Now, from a sizing standpoint, this is gonna be that same American fit that we saw with the Adventure. Sizes, however, will range from a small up to a 3XL. So where the Adventure jacket went up to a 6XL, this is now just gonna go up to a 3XL. Hive is Brian, same thing. He stands at six foot, weighs 195 pounds, has a 42 inch chest, and we have him in a large. So like we mentioned earlier, just negate the size chart and go with what alphanumeric size you normally would wear. From a construction standpoint, you're gonna see a combination of Cordura and mesh. You're gonna see those large mesh panels down the front. There will be a pocket which houses the airbag canister. And the one thing you'll note with this jacket, it's a little more noticeable. It's not as well hidden as with the Adventure because you are using a lighter weight material with that mesh that's gonna be on the front of this jacket. You're gonna have super fabric on the shoulders as well, the elbows. And Brian, go ahead and face backwards for me. You'll be able to see the super fabric really well as it works down the back of the elbows on this jacket. Massive amounts of accordion stretch along the back of the shoulders, the back of the elbows, giving you that nice range of motion. Then you are gonna have that stretch material which works around the top of the back, not just for that comfortable range of motion, but remember, when that airbag goes off, that material needs to expand to allow the airbag to protect Brian in the event of a crash. Now, in addition to that, you are gonna have CE rated two back protector. And the other thing you'll notice, you're not gonna have a CE rated two soft armor in the shoulders and the elbows. So where the Adventure had a CE rated one, you're now getting up in a CE rated two armor all throughout this jacket. So even if you're not using the airbag system, you don't have the tether hooked up and you are in a crash, you are still protected from all the traditional armor throughout this jacket. Massive amounts of mesh in the back, really promoting airflow, and that's where you're getting that two to three season hot weather functionality with this jacket. Brian, turn around, it's time. So, without further ado, this is how it's gonna look once we inflate this one. So again, same thing. You'll notice that with this one, you do have that canister, a little more noticeable because of the lightweight material, but it's doing the exact same thing. Brian, go ahead and turn around. His head is immobilized. You're gonna see that stretch material working. It expands and it allows for that airbag to really support Brian's head and neck in the event of a crash, working almost like a neck brace. Brian, let me turn around and face forward. So we allow Brian to deflate out of this one quickly. We will then move on and we will be talking about the leather version of this piece. So we now come to the leather segment of the video. There's gonna be the leather jacket for men and the leather jacket for women. And we're gonna see a couple of distinct styling changes here. Now where the two textile options came in around the $900 price point, we're gonna now be seeing this come in around the $1,000 price point. Two to three season, cool weather functionality. Think spring, think fall. There is a 60 gram zip out thermal liner, so you can stretch it in the colder months of the year if you want. The main construction for this is gonna be a 1.2 to 1.4 millimeter grade cowhide. Very thick, very beefy cowhide to this. And the sizes are gonna range from a small up to a 4XL. Same thing applies with the sizing. Brian, six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. We have him in a large, no surprises there. There are two different colors available. He is in the black version. There is going to be a brown leather jacket for you to choose from as well. Both coming in around that thousand dollar price point. Now, as we work our way through the front, the main thing you'll see that's gonna be different from the women's jacket, and we're gonna be doing the women's jacket next, you're gonna notice that the canister for this is actually being done in a pocket sewn to the outside. On the women's jacket, they actually have the canister sitting in an inside pocket, and it gives it a much cleaner line. I actually prefer the women's jacket better from a styling standpoint, and I would love to see Helite kind of change this for future iterations and maybe kind of do the same thing that we've seen them do with the women's version, kind of mirror that. As we work our way through here, CE rated one armor in the elbows and the shoulders. And then again, clean lines. You have dual handlebar pockets and a little bit of asymmetry coming into play with that slash pocket over on the left-hand side. Brian, go ahead and face backwards for me. What you'll notice here, you're gonna have some stretch around the shoulders, a little bit of light perforation with the Helite on the top of the jacket. But the main thing you'll note 
is that there's gonna be this Velcro pocket up on top. This is what's gonna pop, allowing the channel of air to give Brian that same level of airbag protection, immobilizing the head like we've talked about earlier. You do have a CE level two back protector standard with this. The one thing to note here, like I just mentioned in the front, with the women's jacket, they don't use this Velcro piece. Instead, they had the stretch material that we saw in the, in the air mesh jacket working across the top. And I actually like the style of that better. So, you know, the two main changes I'd love to see, and really these are the only two nitpicks I have with the Helite pieces, is I wish that they encompassed more of the women's style in this jacket, running that stretch material all the way across the top. Once this Velcro is opened, it's a little bit of a hassle to get it to line back up perfectly. So just keep that in mind if you do happen to inflate your airbag vest or your airbag jacket. Brian, you can go ahead and turn forward. And this is the point where we are going to go ahead. We're gonna pull the cord and you're gonna see exactly what this looks like with the leather jacket. Bam, and you can hear that Velcro expand. This works all the way up and around. Brian, go ahead and face backwards. You can see what we're talking about. The Velcro expands and that stretch material is actually sitting on the inside of this. Still works to immobilize his head and you are gonna have that back protector out there on the exterior of that, keeping Brian safe. Sir, you may move around. It is now time for you ladies to see what is in store for you. So let's move on to the ladies' women's leather airbag jacket. So we're gonna wrap things up with the ladies' leather airbag jacket. So they're coming around the same $1,000 price point that we saw the men's, and the seasonality and construction is the same. Two to three season, cool weather, 60 gram thermal liner, 1.2 to 1.4 mil grade cowhide, no changes there, but we are gonna see some style changes. And like I mentioned in the men's video, really, I like the women's jacket better. They do a better job of hiding the air canister in the front, looks a little bit more sleek, and if you were to go ahead and remove this, you can, get a, you can hide the tag back inside and it gives you much more of a clean look from a leather jacket. And then when you have that in there, again, it just kind of masks everything a little bit nicer than what we're seeing with the men's. When we're taking a look through this, you're gonna have that same CE rated one armor in the elbows and the shoulders. And then Lucy, go ahead and face straight backwards for me. You were gonna have that CE rated two back protector in here as well. Now, in addition to that, like I mentioned earlier, with the men's jacket, you have the Velcro across the top. For the women's, they utilize this stretch material, clean lines, you don't have to worry about the Velcro, and I think it looks a little bit nicer while still giving you the same functionality. You're also gonna see a massive amount of accordion stretch. Accordion stretch down around the yoke, and then up through the sides as well, so there's plenty of motion here for you to be able to expand the jacket, but you're also gonna have that comfortable stretch working through here as well. Lucy, go ahead and face forward. Now from a sizing standpoint, you know, we talked about the men's size chart being, you know, grossly off. It's not the same with the women's size chart. Lucy on my left hand side, she stands at five foot eight. She weighs 140 pounds. She's a 38 inch bust and a 29 inch waist. If we're looking at the size chart, she falls right between a small and a medium based on the measurements that she has. And in real life, Lucy actually sometimes will go with a small or go with a medium depending on the piece she's wearing. Now for this particular jacket, she sized down to a small. The medium was too big, too bulky for her. And you can see the small is gonna fit her spot on. A Little bit of pre-curve to the sleeve works quite nicely. There's only one color available for the women's jacket. That's gonna be the black. And sizes will range from a small up to an extra large. And now comes the time that we've all been waiting for. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. All right. So this is, <laughs> scared you there for a second, didn't it? So this is the inflated version of the women's. You can see, even with this inflated, you have clean lines where that air canister is in the front. Turn around in the back for me, Lucy. And you have that stretch material. It does a great job. It immobilizes her head completely, and you still don't have to worry about that Velcro. So again, I really like the way that the women's version looks and functions much better than the men's. It just really has a clean line to it, even when it's inflated. Lucy, you can go ahead and face forward. So, we're gonna make her stand here while we wear this jacket and we wrap this video up. This is gonna conclude our overview of the Helite jackets that are gonna include the airbag system with them. Remember, there's also gonna be that standalone vest and if you want more information on the airbag system itself, the Helite Turtle Vest is a great video to check out. Now there's a lot of riders out there utilizing Helite gear and if you wanna hear more about what those riders have to say, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting Helite apparel through its paces. If you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as to you know, which Helite outfit and jacket is gonna be right for you and your riding style, you can always give them a shout at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the Helite jackets. I'm Spurge, this is Lucy. Enjoy the ride.